Hello everybody, hello, hello, welcome back to my channel once again, my name is Long G Record, and today I am going to be doing a um, tutorial on the non-normal side of things on this aircraft. Today we are here in Beijing, China. Uh, we are actually preparing a flight to Los Angeles, bring this uh, American Airlines bird back to the United States. So uh, we're all lined up here and ready to go, but we are not really going to flight that flight because it is going to take us 16 hours to do it. But we are simulating a um, engine failure, reject takeoff. So before we go, let me just go over some stuff with y'all before we go uh, with the reject takeoff. Now. There's two different situations based on speed. There's a low speed RTO and a high speed RTO divided by about 80 knots. So below 80 knots and uh, above 80 knots. So prior to 80 knots, we can pretty much reject for any reason, such as a engine failure or engine fire, fire warning or tire failure or the good old the aircraft is unsafe or unable to fly uh, there is also a above 80 knots there's only four re four reasons that you should be rejecting a takeoff above 80 knots which is um, engine fire uh, whether uh, like a uh, wind shear warning the airplane was unsafe or unable to fly a master uh, not a master caution I'm sorry that was below 80 knots uh, and uh, yeah that's the only four reasons why you should uh, you should uh, reject the takeoff above 80 knots now the captain's the guy who makes the call whether to, whether to reject the takeoff or not. Um, and uh, the captain, if he calls stop, uh, he will make sure the... I'm sorry about the flaps thing. I keep on moving that. Uh, let me move it back to flaps 5 for you. Sorry about that, guys. But as I was saying... The captain is the one who makes the call, and the captain will make sure once he calls stop, he'll make sure the thrust levers are closed, uh, disengage the auto throttle, and apply manual braking, apply maximum and manual braking. Now the uh, auto brake will only work above 80 knots, uh, and uh, he will manually raise the speed brake lever such as just like uh, this that is called manual uh, manual raising and apply reverse thrust after he stops the aircraft he'll set the parking brake and um, the first officer will um, the first officer will make sure the once he calls stop it's his protocol he'll say if you call stop I'll make sure the brakes are up I'll call reverse normal after you put the reverse or reverse not normal. Call any abnormal things or anything that the captain might have forgotten to do. And I'll call 100 knots, 80 knots, 60 knots, and um, and then he will make sure the auto brakes is once the auto brake is disarmed, he will select flaps 40 and contact ATC and. Uh, once that happens, the captain will say state uh, malfunction. The first officer will look up at the will look up at the secondary secondary um, display here. He'll say either you know engine one fail, no in one rotation, high speed EGT, no fuel flow, no in two rotation, and you know verify the engine fire is not or is pulled or not need to pull and then we will do the um, we will do the uh, evacuation so let's just get going so here we go so we will go ahead and apply thrust Whoa. and thrust thrust is set 
He'll call out. Captain will say, 80 knots cross check. 90. Stop. Manually apply reverse. I mean, manually apply. Uh, Right, stop the aircraft manually afraid uh, apply brake. Reverse is good, okay, 40, 30, and the cap uh, and the first officer will immediately lower the flaps of 40 and he'll make sure okay so in this case no in one rotation, no uh, no in two rotation. Uh, fuel flow, no fuel flow, and uh, okay, that's good. Verify the fire handle, turn off the first engine, and inform ATC. He would say something like Mayday, 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 American 257, uh, rejected takeoff due to engine failure. Uh, we'll be vacating. So once that happens, uh, once that happens, uh, he'll do his checklist, and we have we will uh, evacuate the passengers, which is right here. I will go ahead and pull that. Evacuate command. In the meantime, go shut the engines down. And in the real world, he would probably taxi it to a gate, but here we're going to shut it down right here. So, okay, so this is basically how you do a reject takeoff. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.